In this video, we are going to discuss about the loops. What are the loops? Loops are just a very strong mechanism. Like if you want a certain set of actions to be repeated again and again and again, then this uh, loop helps you to get that thing done. So what you have to do is you need to create the loop and then inside the loop you put those lines which you want to be executed again and again. Kotlin provides different type of loops. So let discuss one by one. First we are going to discuss about the for loop. So here the for loop works like for and then write i in collection so there is a collection is a group of things you can make it the use of range so for i in and the range is 1 dot dot 10 it means from the 1 to 10 and then here you can print p r i n t l n and then you write message equals I am in or loop this is done so I will run from 1 to 10 that is 10 times so let me run the code and there you see the result for yourself connecting daemon build is kind of ready and then just in Kotlin compilation and here just you see the result yes so here it goes and then you see that it prints one two three now if you want to understand loop how many times does it print and I if you want this one then I just attach this dollar i so that you can see the value of this i also so you can understand it is printing the value of dollar i so yes there you see starting from 1 and then it is going to 10 suppose for example if you want to run uh, like a table for this so I can write val x equals 11 so here I can uh, take I just make it a val so this is my variable x and which is storing the value x and there I write x equal x or this is I'll use the shorthand notation so x into i this means that x equal to x into i so and then I print the value of x here so this will simply print you the table of the mathematical table for the number 11 so because loop is running 1 to 10 and then keep on multiplying so it's 11 22 66 so this is working in a very different way it's just it's x into x it's x is not changing so this is why it's coming so like if i say that if i put the value of x here as here then it will be perfectly fine because what was happening there the x was retaining its value because it was a variable so it was retaining its value and that's why its value was just keeping multiplying many folds if I say so whenever the loop enters into this now you see so I always the value of x begins with 11 so x i is 1 so 11 1 is 11 2 are. and this is called a shorthand notation which goes like x is x into i so this is it so here it provides like see like the replaceable with the operator assignment this is called as operator assignment and it is just like what i just discussed so now you see how it works so this is operator assignment and uh, 
okay not this one here here I want replace with this so x in equals i means x equal to it is just like it is just like x equal to x into i means whatever will be the value of x that will be multiplied with the value of i and that will be stored back into the variable x so that's why you're getting the result like this now there is also another type of uh, loop and that is called as um, for each and here this works for the collection variables like suppose if i have a collection variables means the group of things like the var months so we know that we have months like uh, that is list of so here inside this I'm not passing this one I'm just going for list of now yeah here then I pass uh, like January February, March, April, May, June, July, like that. And then here I write like months dot for each so this is for each yes and then inside this curly bracket no parenthesis just use the it that is short form for iteration so just write print ln it so it will print all those values now let me run the code so here i have the two loops running one is simple for loop another is for each yes now there you see things are coming nicely thank you very much just subscribe to our channel keep on watching and in the next video we'll discuss about the while and do while loop have a very nice time stay healthy